Hey what's up guys this is Akshay from AS Learning and today we will be seeing how to build a mask detector right from scratch okay so we will be building a mask detector with the help of CNN networks and uh, a data uh, image data augmentation and some amount of code in computer vision for a proper display and a detection okay so the final output we so the final output will be something in the form of like my laptop will be detecting my uh, image from the uh, webcam and it will be telling whether I have wore a mask or not. Okay, so let's start from the basics. Let's start from the data. And uh, yeah, so if you want to train an, a neural network, the first thing is that you need to have data. So here in this problem statement, we have two classes a person wearing a mask and a person not wearing a mask. So my neural network needs to see data from both the classes. Okay. So this is my data for with mask. Here, some of the images are very authentic. That is real. As you can see, this lady is wearing a white mask. Uh, and some of them are, and most of them are actually artificially placed. So this mask is artificially placed here. Okay then the other one will say without mask so these ones are simple simple images of people without mask okay and similarly i have a test folder as well with with mask and without mask images okay now let's go to the code so these are the packages have imported so here i'm using keras for building a mass detector you can use pytorch or a tensorflow as well okay and this is my uh, neural network which i've designed so i have kept your three convolutional layers with max pooling after that there's a flatten layer a flatten function for flattening my output of convolutional layers a dropout of 0 0.5 and then two dense layer so the final dense layer is having an activation function of softmax because our problem statement contains two classes with mask and uh, without mask that's why the number of nodes in my final layer is two okay in other layers i've kept the activation function as relu that is rectified linear unit and uh, these convolutional layers are contains uh, 100 kernels of the window size of 3 into 3 and we have a max pooling of window size 2 into 2 okay so what max pooling will be doing is it will be aggregating the results from this convolutional layer okay and it will be picking the maximum value in that 2 by 2 window I think this is pretty much clear and this convolutional layers output will be first flattened that is it will be converted into an 1d array and then it will be feeded to my dense layer of 50 nodes okay so this is my model architecture and after that i'm compiling my model i've kept the optimizer as adam uh, the loss function is binary cross entropy as it's a binary classification problem the metric is accuracy okay so here I've not hypertuned the parameters, but uh, if you guys uh, had get some better results, better accuracies by, by performing different kind of uh, hypertuning operation on this architecture, do comment me down. Okay. Yeah. So this is my CNN architecture for mass detector. And this is the summary of a model. Then uh, we'll move to data augmentation. So as you know that the number of Im images we had were less. It was just 658 Im uh, images with mask and 657 images without mask. I'll show you. Yeah, so here you can see with mask we have six, it is loading. Okay. Yeah, so we have uh, 658 uh, images with mask and without mask also 657. 
So here we'll be using data augmentation for better results. So with the help of image data generator, I will be performing image augmentation. So here are the different kind of parameters used for image augmentation. And we'll be seeing that. So here I've kept the rotation range as 50. That is it. The image can rotate up to a range of 50 degrees. Then uh, with shift range 0 0.3, that is minus 0 0.3 to 0 0.3 is the uh, width shift range. The similar will be applied for height shift range. Shear range. So what is shear? Shear is uh, try to understand in this way. Uh, focus on the camera. If you have image like this, so shear is this thing. The the bottom is fixed and we are trying to move the image into a tilting way. Okay, so that is called as shear. Then we have zoom. Zoom is a uh, self-explanatory. Horizontal flip is true. I've kept the fill mode as nearest. So we can have different kind of fill modes that is uh, wrap nearest constant uh etc and uh, if you want to know more about these parameters and and other parameters i highly recommend you to check the image data generator documentation on keras official website okay and then i'm just passing my training a directory my batch size and my target size okay so and the similar thing will apply for validation set as well right yeah then i've introduced a checkpoint so what is the use of checkpoint so what checkpoint will do is whenever i get my optimum number of accuracy it will save that model at that epoch point okay so here the mo model will have a checkpoint on that typical epoch and uh, it will save that model if the if the optimum accuracy is met okay and finally we are training the model so i've kept the epoch as 10 so what is epoch so one epoch means that your entire data set has been seen by neural network okay so when your entire data set has been seen by neural network and it has trained format that is like one epoch has occurred okay so here we won't be training the model here because it will take a lot of time so you guys can try this notebook the link is there in the description so here i've kept the epoch as 10 the validation data is my validation generator and i've kept my callback as checkpoint okay okay so i'll I'll show you the models which were saved when I when I trained this architecture. So here into learning ES. Yeah, so yeah. It saved model to 0 0.7, 0 0.6, 5, 2, and 1. Okay, so I think 1 and 2 I was playing with something. That is why these were saved, but uh, I I very clearly recall that 5, 6, and seven was saved saved by the model okay so i am loading your the a 0 0.7 model and this will be used for prediction so in the next code of snippet i have just imported cv2 library from keras.model i have loaded the model okay your as I have two outputs, so zero is my unmask and one is a mask. I have assigned red for unmask and green for mask. Okay, and CV dot video capture is is capturing the video. That is the webcam of my laptop. For identifying my facial frontal face from the image, so I have used your built-in. Uh, her cascade classifier so as you can see i've used her cascade frontal face classifier so this will uh, come up with my facial section out there and my model will run on that rectangular section which has been identified by her uh, her cascade classifier and it will tell whether i have wore the mask or not 
okay so i have just looped in uh then i am reading the input from my webcam i am horizontally flipping it then uh, i am resizing it for better results and my her cascade classifier is detecting the input from my video cam okay as my face has been identified my properties of the face have been looped in here i have performed your normalization and resized it after that i have vertically stacked it and i have ran my model i have done a model dot predict on the reshaped okay and finally whatever the result my model is giving i have taken the argument max of it and if it is unmasked so it will give me a red rectangular square with the title of unmasked and if it is masked then it will be a green rectangular square with the title of mask finally i am just showing up my window and i have kept the wait key as 10 seconds yeah so that was the result after running this code and uh, you must have very clearly seen that when i was not wearing a mask it was showing without mask and when I, when i was wearing the mask it was showing me mask so if you like this if you like this video give it a thumbs up share it with all your machine learning ai and python friends and uh, do subscribe to my channel as learning for more such amazing tech thank you and take care